this should be on or not it's disgraced in any way. David Ruckman knows the statue well. He sculpted it. That's the scary part for a sculptor is to, can I do her justice? Last year, he spent months creating this tribute to Lucy Higgs Nichols, an enslaved woman who escaped, ultimately becoming a nurse for soldiers in the Union Army during the Civil War before settling in New Albany. This is a hero. This is a real hero from a personal standpoint, a nurse uh, who uh, saved countless, countless lives. One year ago, on July 3rd, 2019, the statue was placed inside the Underground Railroad Gardens behind New Albany's Second Baptist Church. But on this July 3rd, the sculptor was back in the garden, this time to clean up the statue. One year later, something that was meant to give dignity uh, got misunderstood. That's because in the early morning hours of Friday, someone vandalized the statue, as seen here from a camera across the street. The damage looked like this. Paint across the front of her with the letters BLM painted on her right side. The person that did this probably is someone that's uh, very uneducated and ignorant about history. You know, we just got different tools that we can use to, to, to dig in there and, and, and dig stuff out, you know. Ruckman said he would spend as much time as needed on Friday fixing his work of art. He also has a message for the person who vandalized his tribute to the woman he calls a hero. But if he really wants to be forgiven, come forth, admit he's goofed up and he's done this and everything else, and help me clean her up. The paint can be removed, but the legacy of Lucy Higgs Nichols will never be removed. <laughs> Andrew Chernoff, WLKY News. The New Albany Police Department says the investigation is ongoing. No arrests have been made.